welcome to my youtube channel mukesh tech up so in today's video lecture i am i am going to discuss about non linearity in the neural networks non linearity is very important term and technique to break the linearity in the network to achieve the best tune output so this is very very important to have the non linearity in the neural network and where we have to perform this non linearity and uh, what techniques or i can say the what activation function we have to use to achieve this non linearity okay so let's move on to the next part and uh, i will explain what is non linearity non linearity is a statical term that refers to a situation in which there is no straight line or direct relationship between an independent variable and a dependent variable. so what does that mean if i am drawing a uh, single chart having the equation y equals to mx plus c here what i'm trying to say there should not be any direct relationship between the dependent and the independent variable after not considering the constant variables so a linear function of the input cannot be used to reproduce output at any unit why because if the function is linear then if we are adding multiple layers or i can say if we are going to add more than 10000 layers still it will produce a linear in output for that function so that's what non linearity is very important in the neural net all right now let's try to understand this non linearity uh, with the help of one equation okay so here what i'm trying to say i'm just making one equation w equals to ax x equals to by and y equals to cz and named as equation 1 2 and 3 now the problem st statement is we want to make or we want to write w in terms of z or in other words let's try to describe a relationship between w and z so what we can do we can replace x by by and y equals to cz and when i will write and i will replace those sub substitutes in that one what happens i will be getting w equals to ab cz right and here you can see a b and c these are constant so i can name to a different variable that is d then w equals to dz so i can say there is even direct or the linear relationship between w and z right this should not happen in case of neural net right so according to the uh, according to the equations here we are trying to achieve linearity right but that is not recommended to use in the neural net right to achieve non linearity we have to use activation functions so there are a lot more activation functions like sigmoid tan as relu and softmax okay so i hope this is clear to all of you now uh, let's move on to the next slide from the first part of this graph you can see the data points those are upper and down to this uh, best fitted line these are linearly linearly separable right so this line is not best fitting these parameters and it's a straight right so this is the linear function but in the next uh, next graph what you will see this line or the hyperplane parameters hyperplane line you can see this is crossing the all the data points in the non linear fashion right so this is what non linearity so to achieve non linearity we have to use activation functions in the neural net because this is very important sometime what happens if you are training a neural network let me let me uh, show you practically uh, let me share my uh, code snippet in 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 a little bit after this some time and i will uh, show you if you are trying to modify or trying to add some input layer and you are not adding the activation function in that then the hyper parameters which are configurable 
those parameters will not be learned by the parameter this uh, convolution neural net layers because it won't able to establish a relationship between the input and the output that's what non-linearity is very very important right moving to the next part so to achieve the non-linearity which techniques we have to use that is called as activation function so just to recall even though already i have explained in my previous deep learning video series but just to recall what is activation function in a neural network activation functions are used to compute the weighted total of inputs and bias which is then used to determine whether or not a neuron can be activated so in simple term activation function computes the weight and the bias and then it transfer or it can use to determine whether a neuron should activate or not right these are the activation functions and i will show you what all are the activation functions that we have to use to achieve the non-linearity right all right so these are the types of activation function the first one is the sigmoid so if you will see the range of the sigmoid it's from 0 to 1 right next one is the 10h 10h range is minus 1 to 1 so whatever the input range it will predict or it will generate the output between minus 1 to 1 range the ReLU activation function it's zero to infinity so what happens if any maximum number it will try some number is less than or it's a negative then it will plot to zero and if it is greater then it will return that number only right next one is the soft max function soft max function what it will do it will return the range of zero and ones similar to sigmoid function and it's basically used to predict the probability in case of suppose you are working on a classification model where you have to classify whether a image is dog or cat and what is the probability of dog for that particular image right so softmax function will give us the probability so these are the non-linear activation function to achieve the non-linearity and this is all about the non-linearity within the neural net so this is uh, pretty clear to all of you now let's move on to this uh, practical part where let me show you where you have to do this non-linearity so you will see here and guys uh, if you haven't seen my previous video lecture please go through that so you will get a better understanding how i designed this uh, uh, neural net this cnn to implement and to detect the digits so here you will see after adding the layers you will see the activation function is ReLU, right? Rectified linear unit. You will see here in the next layer, I'm using this activation function as ReLU. So just to make it as practical, what you have to do, just remove this activation function from here, just remove this activa activation function from here, from the first layer and try to, try to train the model and then do a prediction, right? And after that, just add the activation function and again train the model and predict the result and and compare those results and just tune the model little bit okay up and down or left or right right then you then you only will understand what is the non linearity to have it's a necessarily to have in the neural net right so this is all about this uh, non linearity then thank you so much for watching Please do like, share and subscribe.